Hey guys, just wanted to share with you real quick a video on how I got a lot of this soda staining out of my hat. Um, basically what had happened was is I spilled, I dropped a Coke can and it sprayed all over this hat. Now I've already done a good amount on it and I thought, hey that worked really well, let me make a video real quick to share this with people. And basically, as you can see, there's a bunch of Coca-Cola spots on the crown of the hat here and those I did not work on at all and the brim was just splattered with coke stains similar to this and um, as you can see it's gotten I've gotten most of those out you can't even really tell that it was splattered with coke stains there the biggest most prominent one was of course on the front of the brim where you snap it down and it would be very visible when wearing the hat so it was very bothersome to me but you can see remnants of it here in this area but it's the reduction of the stain is ridiculously good so you know it was it was much darker much more noticeable like that before so basically the most important thing unfortunately was the step I did as soon as it happened. So as soon as it happened, I used um, some Biltmore Spot Remover. It's basically like a dry powder that you drop on the hat. It looks like um, small kitty litter. And what it does is just like kitty litter when you drop oil on your driveway or something like that, it absorbs most of that grease and stuff right off the bat. So when it, as soon as it happened, I took the hat and, and put Spot Remover all over. Um, the powder spot remover and let that sit for pretty much a day um, and that probably helped a lot with keeping the soda from soaking deep into the felt um, so that's probably why this second step has worked so well so if this um, step that I'm going to show you right now doesn't work as well as it appears to have worked on my hat it could be due to the felt or just due to um, not being able to get that first step in the spot removing dry powder so basically all I did was for the brim here, I took some of this, some light foaming fur hat cleaner. Now, Bickmore makes um, a version of this. Scout makes a version of this. I believe this this is just Boot Barn version, and I believe it's just the Bickmore foaming hat cleaner with the Boot branding on it, or Boot Barn branding on it. And this cost me like 13 bucks at Boot Barn, something like that. This is great to have, and basically. All you do is you take your infect, uh, affected area and you're going to get about eight inches from the hat and spray some foam on the affected area. So it's going to look like this. And that's about it and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna let that a little spot right there you're just gonna let this all dry up with the brim I basically gave it a good soaking with that stuff and let it dry overnight and without even any brushing or anything like that I the stains look like they were almost gone and then I just brushed it vigorously with a hat brush and you can see that it just really help get rid of a lot of those stains so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this kind of soak in dry up and then we'll come back later once it's dry and I'll show you the results and then also how to get a little bit more reduction down on that stain so we'll go ahead and set this aside and we'll come back to it a little bit later all right be back guys a couple notes I wanted to add while we wait for the hat to dry um, first off most people won't have on hand the dry powdered spot remover for cleaning hats. It's not a typical household item and so it's completely understandable. And since the point of it is to get it on there as quickly as possible when the stain occurs or the spill occurs, um, there are a couple household items that you could use to substitute. So first off you have cornstarch and secondly you have talcum powder. Now the talcum powder can cause uh, slight discoloration on a darker hat 
so if it's a darker hat you may just want to go with the cornstarch uh, most of it would probably brush out but there's a possibility of discoloration so cornstarch is less likely to discolor any whether it's light or dark um, so cornstarch or talcum powder two household items that you could use to absorb most of the moisture when the spill occurs as so you to get less um, penetration into the felt and it's easier to actually clean the second note I wanted to make was after you spray the hat with the um, foaming hat cleaner it is going to cause a small amount of discoloration but that's just because the felt is wet you really have to give it enough time to fully fully dry so like the brim I sprayed it last night and then went to bed and this morning you know I got up and brushed it out or whatever but I really didn't need to do much after the spray it kind of got most of it on its own and then I brushed it out and I'll show you how to brush and prep it out after this part dries okay so we'll be back all right guys we're back um, it's been about six or seven hours since we initially sprayed the stains and it's just completely dry now but before we get into that what I wanted to show you I had to go back to the store and get some more of this um, spot remover just to give you an example of what I was talking about earlier um, this is boot barn brand as well but I think it's still just big more with the boot barn branding on it but basically as you can see it's just a type of powder that's kind of like kitty litter and um, you can put that on the, the stain as it or the stain as it occurs the spill and that will help absorb a lot of your it's basically just like tiny kitty litter but it will help absorb a lot of that oil and grease right off the bat and you just let that sit i let mine sit for about a full day to absorb it and then when you're done you just brush it off and hopefully that should help prevent the stain from penetrating too deeply as it occurs anyway so we sprayed the hat let it dry and I haven't done anything to it yet, but as you can see, those coke stains are extremely reduced just from spraying it and letting it dry. Then, what we can do to further reduce the stain, the, the instructions on the spray say to brush it after it's dry to the touch. So we can either brush that area out, or we can take a hat sponge, which is a little bit more abrasive than the brush in case it's really deep in there, and we'll brush that out like that or the other option which I actually ended up having to do for the brim here because it was so deep is you can use a hundred I'm using um, 180 grit sandpaper and I have it marked light felt because I used this one sandpaper for light felt and one sandpaper for dark felt so <clears throat> what you would do is let's just see so for example right here now it's gonna be kind of hard for me to do because I'm using one hand to hold the camera but you see that spot right there that's still kind of visible you want to go in the direction of the nap of the hat or if it's a pretty finicky area you can hit it with small semicircles or small circular motion like this um, counterclockwise see some of the felt coming off and then you hit it in the direction of the the nap you see how much that's been reduced already so just want to mention I am not um, sponsored by Bickmore products boot barn or anything like that these are just what I found to be local and cheap and so that's what I advocate you can get this stuff on Amazon as well <coughs> but basically boom as you can see we've reduced the stain on this almost all the way and you see the extra felt that's coming off we just after we're done running the sandpaper across it sorry I'm trying to do this all one-handed we just take our hat brush and brush in the same direction of the nap and we can clearly see that the stains have been reduced drastically now if that's not enough for you and you want to try to go more you can do a second go around with the same procedure but 
just want to mention that when it comes to especially vintage hats like this one when it comes to cleaning it's more about stain reduction than stain elimination um, if you try to completely eliminate the stain you could further damage the hat so I just hope this really helped you guys out definitely feel a lot better about this hat no longer especially from a slight distance does it look like it's stained at all so started with this when the stain occurred to soak up most of it let that sit for about a day brush the hat off and then we took that I don't have the foam on me for some reason but took the foaming hat spray sprayed the stains let that dry overnight or for at least six hours or so and that reduced most of the stains and then you go in there with either I would try the brush first right because it's the least abrasive and if that's not getting the results then you try the hat sponge and if that's not getting the results you move to the 180 grit sandpaper now I personally went to the 180 grit sandpaper first um, just because I've already kind of been trying to work on this hat and knew those stains were a bit stubborn so just remember the sandpaper is going to be the most abrasive so it will work the quickest but it also will remove a small amount of felt there so always try these methods in one small unnoticeable area to check for color fastness and then uh, if it's fine then move on to the rest of the hat but I hope this guy I hope hope this helps you out a lot guys um, I know there's not a lot of information on something like this so enjoy and happy hatting <laughs>